Atom economy. Atom economy is perhaps one of the most important metrics used currently in green chemistry. Traditionally, the efficiency of the reaction was measured by calculating percent yield. However, over 20 years ago, Dr. Barry Frost introduced another way to look at efficiency of the reactions. And so he was mostly interested in looking what atoms of the reactants are actually incorporated into a final product and which of the atoms are being wasted. The best way to illustrate atom economy is through an example. And so atom economy is calculated by dividing atoms utilized by atoms which are present in all the reactions times 100. And so when we have a butanol that reacts with sodium bromide and sulfuric acid, it's gonna give us bromobutane, sodium bisulfate, and water. The way to calculate atom economy of this particular reaction is to look what atoms from butanol have been incorporated into bromobutane. And so for this particular example, four carbons and nine hydrogens have been utilized. Similarly, we look at sodium bromide and how many atoms from sodium bromide have been incorporated into bromobutane. And in this particular situation, only bromide has been incorporated into bromobutane. And so for four carbons and nine nitrogens, the molecular weight of all these atoms equals to 57. Bromine is 80. Similar calculation is performed for unutilized atoms. And so for butanol, only hydrogen and oxygen remain unutilized. Again, we calculate the weight of unutilized atoms. Having the weight of both utilized atoms and unutilized atoms, we add them to a total. And so the total weight of utilized atoms comes together to 137, and the total weight of unutilized atoms comes to 138. To calculate the atom economy, you divide 137 by 137 plus 38 multiplied by 100. And so for this particular reaction, atom economy is only 50%.